Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky 14 and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 2 Anniversary Edition. Last time we reached this town known as Poth after crossing Paloom, and our goal is actually to get to Salaman, so let's go. Salaman, like I said in the last part, is actually up north. So we want to go up north and we just encounter more enemies and what the hell? Oh my god, you know what? I'll keep this battle in only because it's the first one uh, in this part, you know. Plus, it's actually a fairly challenging one if because there's a lot of monsters, but whatever. I could attack with you, or I could just... You know what? Just attack. I want to see your strength. I want to, I want to test Minwoo's strength. How, you can't miss when it's 7 on 4, dude. Come on. You need a hit. 13? Really? That was weak. Yeah, Minwoo is a mage, of course, as you already know. Maria will be another mage. I'm going to be making her into an ultimate mage, of course, you know. Alright, fine. More goblins escape. That's better for us. It just makes it easier. Let's just attack, and let's just get some more fire spells going. And yeah, you, you guys can all just attack, it's fine. Our priority right now is to just get Maria to use up a lot of magic. I need her to improve an MP, remember. Uh, stats increase depending on, basically, how you force them. If you want to improve an MP, use MP. Force your MP to be used. If you want to improve magic, again, use magic. Which basically means uh, using MP too. So those stats essentially level up uh, around the same time. And yeah, you know, if you want to improve HP, you get hit. If you want to improve strength, you have to attack, and so on and so forth. Anyways, this little thing right here that you see... I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but there is a little white thing there in the mountains. If you actually go up to it, you get taken to a secret area called the Arcane Sanctuary. Which is a side quest dungeon exclusive to the Anniversary Edition of Final Fantasy II. I will be doing this. However, we are nowhere near that time. That's actually the, uh... A secret to getting the legendary weapons, or in this game I think they call them ultimate weapons. So just a little, you know, little hint that I will be doing that and the, what the hell? They got ambushed, man. I'm just gonna cut this. Alright, Maria's fire level and magic stat increased in that battle as well as Minwoo's staff proficiency, whatever you call it. Here's Salaman, right up here. As I was telling you, it, is, it was actually, wait, was that the place? It was, right? Let me check the map here. Where are we? Yep, we're all the way up here. Can you believe we were down there in the beginning? Now we're all the way up here somehow? Seriously, that was some big progress. But yeah, here in Salamand, we, uh... Hold on, let's enter. We have some stuff to do. Our main priority is to get to a guy named Joseph. Hilda mentioned him. Here does the item shop, which again, sells the same things like all item shops in this game. And uh, here does a magic shop. Let's take a look at this. Maybe there's something good here, you know? Let's see. A life tome, sapped well, they are good things, but the problem is that they require a lot of freaking gill. We do not have that money just yet. We have to keep fighting off screen. Here there's what? Sanctuary to revive people, which I do not have to use right now because I do not have any dead members. Over here there's a woman. I love Joseph, but I know that when I'm around, I just get in his way. Oh, here's Joseph. And here, let's see. He's, he's called Joseph, not Joseph. It's because... The thing is, he's not, he doesn't have the PH at the end, it's an F, which just kind of screws me sometimes, but I'll just call him Joseph, because that sounds more natural. Alright, hello Joseph. You have business with me? Um, yes I do. I want to ask you about Mithril. What do you have to say? M Mithril? I haven't found any yet. I do have a few leads, but I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm gonna need you to do a little something to prove you are who you say you are. There's a bunch of people from Salaman who are being forced to work in a cave at Semet Falls. Rescue them and we'll talk. What? What the hell? Dude, we just want your damn mithril. Seriously, we just want your damn mithril. I don't want to do junk for you. There's a guy who knows all about airships, but why should I tell you who he is? Okay, really? I hate this guy already. He's not giving us any info. You're here for Lady Hilda. A little short in the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. Dude, we know the password, Wild Rose. How am I fooling you? You know what? Um, guess we gotta do that. I guess we have to. So let's go. Uh, let me see here. Anything here? No, that's gonna take us out of the town. So, I'll just tell you right now. We are headed towards a dungeon. You wanna be careful. And now would be a good time to actually start spending the money on good stuff. So let's see here. Um, there is... No, no, not that. A long sword. That's an improvement. Fairy on use a sword, so you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. I will buy it. Um Battle Axe. 
that's used by a uh, guy. I'll go ahead and buy that too. And then the longbow would be the other one, but I don't have enough money just yet. That would be an improvement for Maria. The problem is that I don't have enough money, so... What I'm going to be doing... Actually, let's equip these things first. Broadsword will be replaced by the longsword, which gives us five more attack. I will do it. There we go. And then you over here... Battle Axe, go ahead and equip it. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and sell these things. Sell the axe. And sell the broadsword. Okay, now I have enough money. That's very good. Let's go to buy. Go to longbow. Purchase the longbow. And equip it. Maria, bow, replace it. Alright, very nice. That's going to be a nice stat boost. Let's go ahead and sell your bow, which we don't need because it's garbage now. Ten gil. Wow. That thing sells for worse than the axe or the sword. Armor shop here, but there's no point because I don't have any money, so whatever. Do I need to heal? Let me see. Um, I barely took any damage. No, there's no need to. It would just be a waste. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and save now. So, saving right over here on this side. There we go. Let's go. Now, Stemmet Falls is actually, let me just tell you, right over here. It's right there. However, there's a big mountain range blocking. So, what you want to do... Let's see. Is there two ways or one way? No, there's... Hmm... I think it was only one way to enter, but let's go. I have to walk all the way over there to the left side. I mean all the way. Oh yeah, there's a cave there. You know what? I might as well just enter it to show you what it does. New enemy here though. Soldier. These guys can be pretty uh, difficult if you don't know what the hell you're doing. So, Oh shoot, you know what? I should heal actually because Maria's low on MP. Forgot about that. She needs her MP. Hmm. You know what? I will. Yeah, I need to go heal of course. So let's do it. Alright, that did a lot of damage, wow. Maria's MP increased, Maria's magic increased, and we got an antidote. Go ahead and take all. Nice loot. This cave up here leads to Arcane Labyrinth Northwest Quarter. So similar to the Arcane Sanctuary, I'll just give you a hint right now. This dungeon and that one back there are linked in that side quest. Again, we will not be here until a long time from now. But for now, I do have to go back and heal because I need to heal that MP, so let's go back. Damn it! Ferion strength increase from that battle. Let's go ahead and heal. In right here and enter. 23 gil. Alright, I will gladly pay you some money to heal me. So let's do it. Alright. So once we get out of here, we're going to head all the way towards the west side. Because that's where we have to go. We have to loop around the mountains to enter Semit Falls, which is kind of, you know, unfortunate. But whatever, <laughs> seriously. Alright, let's uh, let's go. Wait, why did I go that way? Seriously, I'm so dumb. Alright, let's go towards the west side or left side, whatever you want to call it. West or left, same thing. Alrighty, all these battles of course I'm just cutting out because they're pretty much the same enemies. Bunch of goblins and stuff. See, oh, whoa, whoa, new enemies here. These are improved versions of goblins. Let's see, there's no need to be using magic just now. I will instead wait. Yeah, those are improved goblins, improved versions. Goblin guards, they have a bit more HP, but they are still pretty pathetic. I mean, come on. They're a bit tougher than goblins, but they're still nothing formidable. We should easily be able to kill them in one shot, or at least with Ferion or Guy. I don't know about Maria. Or Minwoo, they're a bit weaker offensively. But there we go. What did we get? Anything? Nope, nothing. I'm going to go ahead and show the best Chieri right now. Let's go to configuration. Best Chieri, and let's head down because I have to show you a few more new enemies. So we fought a goblin guard. Look at that. 10 HP, 4 attack. The difference between that and these guys is almost... Oh my god. 4 more HP. Oh yeah, they're a lot tougher, right? Seriously. Um, here's a soldier. This guy can actually be pretty formidable. 45 HP, 17 attack. Overall pretty good stats for this point in the game. Weakness none, resistance none. Alright, I believe that's all the enemies. Yep, that's all the enemies we met so far. Remember that there are 170 enemies in this game. Alright, so, gotta head down here. Once you head to these mountains, you can, well, you can either keep walking or you can take your canoe and just keep going like this. Actually, you have to take your canoe right here. Take the canoe and keep going until you enter this cave. This is, oh shoot. Ooh, new enemies. I believe these are called Sasquatch, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use a fire. 
Let's get fire, and let's just get some attacks. I don't want to use magic with Minmu just now because I'm gonna be needing a lot of it in the actual dungeon. I'll use it with Maria though because I could, you know, just buff her up, boost her MP or magic stats, you know. 80 damage, not bad, really, not bad at all. Alrighty, let's keep attacking. And you will go down. There we go. Sasquatch enemies are down. 252 gil. Ferion's HP and Maria's HP increased. Nice, and something else. I did not catch that last thing. Anyways, here we are in Semit Falls. Now, let me just check how much time we are at because I'm not really sure. Uh, 12 minutes? Okay, we can do this. So, Semit Falls. Here's, I guess, the first real dungeon of the game. Although it's really nothing difficult. Oh, what the hell? And really? Goblin guards? This is garbage. This is pure garbage. Seriously. Just go ahead and see something here while he's, um... Dude! Alrighty, we won that battle. Sorry, I'm not talking there. I was a bit distracted with, uh, something else that I'm taking care of here in the computer. But, anyways, let's keep going. So, let me see here. Oh, shoot, more enemies? Are you kidding me? Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna cut this. Too many goblins. Alrighty, we take care of those goblins. Uh, did we take a lot of damage? Oh, no, not really. We're good. Let's keep going. So here there are some forks, you know, and this is where these dungeons start to get either really long or really short, depending if you want to go for the treasure or not. Here there's a treasure. Again, this is an optional place. If you want to make, if you want to go through the dungeons really quick, you would obviously not be getting that. But I'm gonna be going for almost every single chest in this game. So uh, yeah, just letting you know, because it's nice to be having all these items and showing off everything. Oh, look at that, a new enemy. So that is a. So what the hell is that called? I don't know what it's called, I forgot. Oh, Balloon? Really? Okay. Balloon. Well, that went down in one shot. Okay, I guess it was not that difficult. But it is a new enemy, so I will, of course, be keeping it in. And the Goblin Guards are really weak, as you already know. Alright, no stat improvements. It's fine, though. So, here we want to go towards the right side because there are actually, or there is actually, another chest. Contains 400 more gil. We're getting rich. Now, once, once we go back, you know, we're going to be able to, of course purchase a bunch of upgrades, a bunch of armor and magic and all that stuff, you know? It's gonna be pretty good. Take care of that soldier, I won't be cutting that battle out because it was really quick and I was talking over it the whole time. So let's go. Now, to get to the next floor, it's uh, actually over here on the west side somewhere. Yeah, these stairs. Oh, shoot. Alrighty, another battle taken care of. Let's head down to the next floor. Here in this floor, there is, um, or there are three treasure chests which they're kind of out of the way at least one of them is well one of them is all the way up here just a simple soldier he is down there's a chest over here eye drops all right that cures uh, darkness or blind whatever you want to call it the next chest is up here actually those sasquatch have been taken care of it is a potion i will gladly take it and now let's head down towards the next side so the next place or the next treasure chest is on the bottom right corner of this floor, which is actually, well, we're very close to it. Single Sasquatch, you know what, I'll just keep this and everybody attack it. Just, it should go down in one shot. Yep, there we go. Ferion dealt with it very quick. So let's just go, we obtained some gill, and let's keep going. The treasure chest is right here. Let's go ahead and grab it, and now move up. That was a high potion. We are very close to the next floor. Just, uh, you know, too many damn encounters. And actually, that's going to be pretty common for most of this game. Here, there's four doors. Three of these are trapped. If you go into them, you will get taken to a room that has pretty much fixed encounters per every step that you take and you do not want to do that because you will get swarmed like crazy. The correct door is the one on the left side. This will take us to the third floor, not really the third floor, more like the basement third, but whatever. So here in the third floor, um, we, we actually start in the top right corner. What we want to do is obviously get through it, but yeah, sometimes I say way too many obvious things. There's a chest down here, which, again, optional. So let's go back through this side. Somewhere up here is, uh... Is there a door? Yeah, there's a door over there on the right side. You can barely see it. That's a, that's a, that's a wrong door, though. Do not take it. Whoa, new enemies here. What the hell? These look like big birds or something. I'm gonna go ahead and use some fire. Let's go ahead and kill these. Or kill one of them. You just use fire, you know. I need to drain that MP, of course. Be using it. You gotta use MP to gain MP. Just like in life, you gotta spend money to make money, apparently. 
So there we go. I did not even see the name of that enemy. Seriously, I did not. But whatever, let's go ahead and uh, go to configuration, best GRE, and take a look at these enemies. Sasquatch, here it is. 20 HP only, okay, very weak enemies, but there's a Sasquatch. Let's see what other enemies, whoa, 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 there it is. Sprinter, they're called sprinters, okay, 30 HP, so they're a bit tougher. Still nothing too difficult, I mean, the soldiers are still more difficult enemies. And any more stuff? Yes, there is. Balloon, that's right. 20 HP, okay, fairly simple enemy. Weakness, lightning, and fire, all right. Gotta keep that in mind. It is pretty important to be keeping the weaknesses in mind, you know? So let's see. Here in this place, there's a, the correct door is actually up there, but first we want to head down here. Because I believe there's a chest. Yep, yeah, there is. Obtains some more gill, very nice. We could, keep, we could keep heading down, but I'll just warn you right now, there's nothing down there. There's nothing. Alrighty, we took care of those enemies. Let's head up. And the correct door is no 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 I did not want to enter that oh my god I did not want to enter that now I'm screwed <laughs> I so, oh my I was not paying attention I just kept spamming the damn button okay okay gotta do this off screen all right so I went out of there finally again you do not want to do that the correct door is actually the one over here once we get taken here oh look at this a lot of people here so let's go ahead and talk to you Furion it's you you remember me don't you Paul, the greatest thief in all the world, am I ever glad to see you? This is Joseph's daughter, Nellie. I think that that dastard Borgen's been holding her hostage to threaten Joseph. Oh, really? Hmm. Princess Hilla told me to bring to bring her back to Mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out this. Wait, what? Oh, I figured out this was where the Mithril was coming from easy enough. So I thought I'd get the jump on you guys and nab the Mithril before you could get here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me of all people. Huh. <laughs> wow. Well, I know when I'm in, over my head. So long, but don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us, I owe you one. There was nobody even here, you could just leave. I, I enter here, there was no soldier guarding or anything, what the hell? You could just escape, so you just went by yourself. That's what you could have done, you didn't need me. Anyways, now would be a good time to be going back, you would think, right? Well, you can go back. And if you do go back, well, you know, Joseph will say, like, thanks and whatever. But then you have to return back here to the cave and continue deeper by heading that way so obviously I'm not gonna be wasting time by by going back instead in the next episode I'm gonna be continuing so I will be here in the beginning of the next episode and yeah we will keep going thank you for watching goodbye everybody and until next time